Here's uh, my uh, Dell Optiplex E6420 laptop, and for some reason, I want to install Linux Mint on here. It already has Windows 10 on here, and it has a 500 gigabyte Western Digital solid state drive, but I want to put in Linux Mint as well because I just love Linux. You know, and some reasons to use Linux over Windows is the fact that if you don't have any programs to actually use Windows, Linux can run on systems that have much less specs, I mean, lower specs than others. Like Linux Mint, for instance, can run on computers that only have 2 gigabytes of RAM. This has 8, that's not the problem, but it could also, even on computers like this, has... The system just has less overhead. It uses much less hard disk space. And I mean, depending on how many files you have on the cloud, if you're just using this laptop to stream or, you know, you have all your files on the cloud or you're using it for work and you just need to connect to a terminal. Well, I mean, Linux Mint works great. And it can it has a bunch of free software like LibreOffice if you, you know, need to get stuff done. All right, we're going to format this flash drive right here. I'll show you how to do that. This is flash drive. It's the E drive. Go up here. Right click. Yeah. Click format. Maybe we just need to do a quick format. FAT32 is fine. It's a little 8 gig flash drive. Fine for what we're using it for. Not a USB 3 drive, so it doesn't matter that I have it connected to a USB 2.0 port. Let's, let's go get a Linux distro. Linux Mint. Okay. All right. This is the Linux Mint web page. I already have um, Deluge um, on this computer, which is good for torrents. Okay. Where is the torrent one? Yeah, the hardware specs, as you see, this is how much it needs. Basically, anything could run Linux Mint today. Anything made within the last 15, 20 years. I don't know where to download it now. I had to go back. Oh, that's where the download is. We'll download the Métis version. It seems to be a little lighter on resources than Cinnamon, even though Cinnamon's also a good desktop interface. You know. But Métis, you know. You don't really have much of a learning curve to it. It's very easy to use if you come from Windows and Windows environment. And now... So let this download.